Welcome back to our evening readings of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 11, Kingdoms and Godheads of the Greater Mind in Book 2, the Book of the Travel of the Worlds. An ear of mind withdrawn from the outwards rhymes discovered the seed sounds of the eternal word the rhythm and music heard that built the words and seized in things the body lay there to be the illimitable they measured with numbers, rods, and traced the last formula of limited things in transparent systems, body termless truths, the timeless made accountable to time, and valued the incommensurable supreme. Park and hedge the ungrasped infinitudes, the erected absolute walls of thought and speech, and made a vacuum to hold the one. In their sight, they drove towards an empty peak. Mighty space of cold and sunlit air. To unify their task, excluding life, which cannot bear the nakedness of the vast, they made a cipher of a multitude. In negation found the meaning of the all, and in nothingness. The absolute positive. A single law, simplest the cosmic theme, compressing nature into a formula. Their titan labor made all knowledge one. A mental algebra of the spirit's way. Abstract of the living divinity. Here the mind's wisdom stopped, it felt complete. For nothing more was left to think or know. In a spiritual zero, it sat throned and took its vast silence for the ineffable. This was the play of the bright gods of thought. Attracting into time the timeless light, imprisoning eternity in the heart. This they have planned to snare the feet of truth in an oriad net of concept and of race and keep her captive for the thinker's joy in his little world built of immoral dreams there must she dwell mured in the human mind an empress prisoner in her subjects house Adored and pure, and still on his heart's throne. His splendid property, cherished and apart. In the wall of silence of his secret news, Immaculate in white virginity, The same forever and forever one. 
his worship changeless goddess through all time. Or else a faithful concert of his mind assenting to his nature and his will she sanctions and inspires his words and acts prolonging their resonance through the listening years companion and recorder of his march crossing a brilliant tract of thought and life carved out of the eternity of time a witness to his high triumph and star her godhead servitor to a crowned idea he shall dominate by her a prostrate world a veran for his deeds on his belief she adds his right divine to lead and rule Crossing a brilliant tract of thought and life, carved out of the eternity of time, a witness to his high triumph and star, a godhead servitor to a crowned idea. He shall. Dominated by her across red world, a veran for his deeds and his beliefs, she attests his right divine to lead and rule.